Hi everyone and welcome back to another plan with me for the week from the 7th to the 13th of August. Today's kit is from Project Plan on Etsy and the link is going to be down in the description box. I've never used a kit from Project Plan, this is my first kit. Um, it doesn't come with any deco and it only has eight small icons so I think this is like a smaller kit, not quite a mini kit but definitely a smaller kit than what I usually buy. So as always I'm going to start with the washi down at the bottom and then I'm just going to trim off the excess using my scissors. So I chose this kit because all of the really pretty colours, they are definitely very summery. They remind me of everything kind of sweet like candy floss and sweets. So I really wanted to use this kit because it's not going to be that many weeks before all the autumn kits come out. So once I've cut the bottom washi off I do like to save it so I can try and reuse it in my spread at some point. So going in day by day, I'm just going to put down my header and I'm going to alternate the to do's and today so it's not all one colour along the top. I then took a piece of the patterned washi and then a half box which I just flipped up onto its side. I used a little page flag at the top there and I was just writing down that I needed to upload this plan with me that you're now watching. So because this kit doesn't come with any functional deco or any deco really, you're going to see my poppets pop up a lot in my spread. Um, so it's kind of like a little, a little sneak peek if you like, because this week I'm hoping to film a video of all of my releases that are going to be available in my shop. So just going to pre-warn you, there's going to be lots of poppets kind of spread all over. So I just put down that I've got an Etsy delivery due on the Monday and then I put down a full box with one of these watercolour swatches which will also be available in my shop just to write down that I was going to be having a cleaning day. So then I just chose what ombre checklist I wanted to put down and just write down everything that I wanted to get done on that day which is always cleaning because I lead a boring life. Underneath I put a little things header and I had two TV shows on that day which was Billions and Game of Thrones. For Tuesday I put down my today header and then I chose a half box and on here I was just marking down that I wanted to print out my daughter's invites for her birthday party. And then of course I grabbed my birthday poppets and just chose the pink one just to match in with the spread. Underneath I put down one of the baskets little things and just wrote down that I needed to have my food shop delivery and then I went on to choose a half box. So the half box was just to mark down that my sister and her children were coming round and they were going to be spending the day at my house. So then I just wanted to mark down the things that we were going to be doing that day. There's also no appointment labels in this kit either. So what I done is I just chose the lightest kind of patterned washi so I was able to write on top of it. And then of course I'm going to add some poppets just to, you know, jazz it up a bit because I really like to use functional deco and deco within my spread. I didn't realise just how much I relied on deco in my kits. It wasn't until I used a smaller kit like this that I've realised that actually I kind of like the deco and I use it a lot which is why I've grabbed so many different poppets. I wasn't expecting to use this many and kind of showcase them before my shop opens but yeah. Anyway, I put down my little things header, I had a TV show on which was Billions, I had to pick up the car and I also had Scandal on as well. So for Wednesday I just put down my to do header and then I grabbed some of the washi that was cut off from the bottom washi so I could reuse it because I hate to throw stickers away. So I just put it down there and then cut it with my little craft knife and my hobby craft card and then on top of it I just grabbed my coffee poppets and just stuck down this coffee first sticker. Underneath I put one of the ombre heart checklists and then I took another watercolour swatch sticker, I was just choosing which colour would match best with my spread and I just placed that down before adding in my full box. And then I was just trying to think what I was doing because I obviously lost my train of thought but I just put down my little things header and I had two little things to put down, one was a film slate and one was a TV show. Now I'm just going to take the page out of my planner so I can actually write without the coil being in my way. So I had some things that I wanted to get done on Wednesday morning before we were going out because normally we have one day a week 
in the summer holidays that we go out as a family. As you know, if you've watched my previous Plan With Me's, I have quite a big family. We're all very close and we all go out together. So on the Wednesday, we should all be going swimming. I had to film my new releases that were coming out into my shop and I had TV scandal on. I then took my swimming poppets or beach poppets. You can like use them for both. I will show you all of them in more detail and so you can see all of the poppets. But I just grabbed the swimming one and put that down and then one of my love poppets and just put that down by fam day. For Thursday I started with a pink today header and then took another one of the watercolour swatches that will be available in my shop. I kind of feel bad that I'm using so many of my poppets and these watercolour swatches because you guys can't actually get them yet. Just have to wait a little tiny bit longer. I'm hopefully going to be opening my shop at the end of the week. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Cross your fingers for me. But underneath I just put another one of my coffee poppets kind of laying down half dead holding the coffee out because that will be me. Then I put down a half box to remind myself I had to collect my glasses from the opticians. And then I'm using some of the leftover washi from the bottom again and I'm just double layering it to create almost like a half box, it's not quite as big. And I'm just putting a page flag on top of that to remind myself that my daughter was going out with her friends for that day. Underneath I was just choosing which full box to use and I went to flip it up the other way and I realised the two turquoisey colours would be next to each other so I just flipped it back. That's the good thing with these half boxes, there isn't a right way up so you can flip them. Then I just put down my little things header. I had a piece of washi that I put down with one of the icons on. I also had a little heart little thing and then another TV programme which I just flipped them two rounds so the two pinks weren't going to be next to each other. So I wanted to paint my nails on this day. I needed to double check I've answered everyone's comments on my videos that day and also I had scandal on because I'm kind of addicted. For Friday I put down a to-do header and a page flag that I just flipped to its side because there wasn't any Bill Jews stickers in this kit either so I just wrote down Bill Jew with a little crying or sad poppet. Next I chose an ombre heart checklist and I went for the kind of turquoisey one because I felt there wasn't enough turquoisey colour up in the top half so I just wanted to pull that colour into the top of the spread. Next I put down a half box and I just changed my mind because the other one was too similar to the one on the Thursday. So I changed it for this one and just put down that we were going to be going pottery painting with the children. I'm actually going for my sister and her children too so it should be a really cool day. Then I just put down my full box and a little things header. I only had one TV program on on this day, which was Scandal. So for the weekend to get them down, I just put their headers down already, just so it kind of carries on throughout the week so it's all matching at the top. And then I just used some more of the leftover washi from the bottom washi. I find this is the easiest and best way to use up washi if that's what you're doing if you're trimming it off of your bottom washi it's the easiest way to use it is just to put it along the weekend as like a background behind your weekend banner so I just measured it and decided I'd need two strips just to have it the right thickness and the kind of OCD in me wanted to match up the colours and they didn't line up perfectly which kind of irritated me but the weekend banner does actually cover up that join so you know it was all good in the end So I'm just going to carry on on the Saturday and I'm just using another one of my watercolour swatches just to write down that my partner Jace is actually going to be working on this day. I then put the half box down because I didn't have any plans written out ready for Saturday and Sunday so I'm kind of going off the top of my head what I could remember. So I knew my daughter was going to be out at a theme park all day. I wanted to film my plan with me ready for the next week and I also had a payday. And she doesn't have any payday stickers either in her kit so I just pulled one out with a little pop it on from what will be in my shop. Then because it was all a little bit jumbled I had to try and put it in order. So I do like to have things in order of as I'm going to be doing them. So I knew I wanted to film my plan with me in the morning. Obviously my payday will come in in the morning. And then I just split it up with the half box in between that and my daughter going out to the theme park all day. I had a few things that I wanted to get done as well on the Saturday. So I just took one of the heart checklists and a to-do header and just put that down at the bottom, which I just needed to cut down to three hearts. 
And yes, I do think we're actually going camping again. If you watch my rewind spread, you'll know that my camping trip was very long and very wet. But we have decided that we may go camping again at a site that's a little bit closer than where we were before. So for Sunday, I use one of my larger poppets, which says coffee first, which is definitely something that I need. And then underneath, I just put a piece of washi and labeled that with the housework as she doesn't have any appointment labels or any kind of labels in the kit. I then took one of the ombre checklists and just wrote down things that I wanted to get done before putting down my full box. We also might do something on the Sunday. We haven't actually planned anything in particular, but we may do something as my partner's working on the Saturday. So I just moved the full box down so I could fit my half box in, but I will leave that blank and fill it in if we do anything. So I'm just gonna flip it and start doing my sidebar. So the first thing is obviously I'm going to put my full box down just to cover that calendar because I personally don't really need or like the calendar there and a full box looks much more pretty. I then took a piece of washi and stuck it at the bottom just to extend that box a little bit. Underneath I put my habit tracker and a next week header with an ombre heart checklist. I put a little piece of washi just to cover that next line up before putting my other header in and then adding another ombre checklist. I don't usually use two ombre checklists but when it came to the sidebar I literally had nothing left. I didn't have any obviously deco to put there or washi because I kind of used it up within my spread so I really struggled with trying to fill my sidebar up so in the end I took another one of my watercolour swatches put it at the bottom just to kind of fill up that gap and have it look more pretty then I just went back and added things that were going to be happening next week and my habit tracker was actually for my Etsy shop which you know I'm going to fill that in as we go so I'm just going back and adding a few little dots just with my pen to fill up any gaps that are kind of larger where I would normally put larger deco. So never be afraid to kind of use your pen. And now I'm just going back and adding a few more poppets because clearly I don't have enough. As all of the full boxes were plain and just patterns, obviously there was no quote box. So I just decided to write one of my own quote, well not one of my own quotes, but a quote that I liked. I just wrote it myself using my pen. There was also a few other full boxes that were kind of left which really just needed some deco so I decided to draw some myself. So like I say, never be afraid to kind of doodle your own things, especially if you've got some plain full boxes, they're like the perfect background to doodle on. So I just drew like two little succulents and then on this one I just drew a little cupcake. And then the one at the bottom, I kind of, my head got in the way then, I kind of half drew, I'm not, I'm not sure what I was drawing, I think to begin with I was just going to draw like half a watermelon and then it didn't quite look like one so I kind of left it but yeah. <laughs> so here's everything that I've got left after doing my spread this week and of course I'm going to give you guys a little close up. If you like this video then make sure you give me a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you all next week. Bye guys.